been going on for quite a while, Uncle Dean. There's been so many wannabes going on. I do feel a lot of people are copying my style. The way I do things, the way I make videos, I mean, the way... Is that called vlogging? Yeah, but it's just my own style. And I do think a lot, a lot of people... Well, people will emulate other people's to get their gold in life, don't they? Like, celebrities copy each other, don't they? Comedians, actors, singers. Yeah. They will borrow and nick off each other. I'm just fed up with copycats copying me. It's overdone. Because I feel like I've got to keep changing my style to be me again. Yeah. Because people keep copying my style. I think copycat, copycat, copycat and all that. Mm -hmm. The only way I can stop it is to keep changing my style. But I'm having to change my style so much that I'm forgetting who I am. You know, so many people are doing what I do. How do I get over it, Uncle Dean? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Stick, stick to your style and you, you can't break the real, real deal thing. No. And all the people what are copying are standing out like a sore thumb. If you stick to yourself, the way you do things. So that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That's the stand out for copying. That's it, straight away. When people are copying you, Stay, do your own style. In one way, it's a compliment. In another way, it's lack of not being able to have their own thing, what own way of doing it. That's the way I look at it. I look it's at it. Like, I think it's a compliment. Well, it's like in the 50s, everyone used to say Clifford Shadows, he's out of Elvis. Yeah. Because like, we never had him over here. Yeah. And they said, but pretty sure he's out of Elvis, and that was, you know, because Elvis wasn't here. And then in the 60s, when the groups started with the Beatles, they wanted to be like that in America. At first, it was us wanted to be like the Americans and rock and roll. Yeah. And then, then the Beatles got a name for themselves and everyone wanted to be like the Beatles groups. So basically... They music, but... So basically, I thought being copied was a, was an honour. An honor. Mm. If they're copying me, then that means they want to be like me. That means they are being like me. So that, that's a privilege. Own, they haven't got their own thing. But um, it's 50-50 again, everything can be a compliment, but to some people, they don't like it, like Johnny Rotten from Sex Pistols, he doesn't like to go and do a concert, and they've all got dyed, coloured, spiky hair and looking like him. He doesn't find it a compliment, but some other people do. I think now, I've had this conversation with you, but I'm going to go back to uh, how I used to be and people, be, people be proud to be copied. People are see through the copy, the, the real thing. Yeah. In the end, you've just got to, that's just a burden for a while or so. Mm. You know, uh, uh, that'll pass over and they'll find someone else's bad way of being jump on. Just, just like entertainment. You know? So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. If you're being copied, take it that's as a compliment. Just, that's like, I work something out on the guitar, get music sheet and then play it. I say, here, here, look, here it goes. Mm. And you say to me, you want to do your own stuff as good as that. Yeah. Because you're right. I am I, right. I get a big thrill out of learning a song by someone else though. Yeah. But I know I can make, sit down and write a song, a tune easy enough, yeah. but I'd be borrowing from here and borrowing from there. Everyone borrows a little bit, but you've still got every bit of your own there. So the point is, it's okay to be copied. Yeah. Take it as a privilege. At least someone copying you means they... That you're doing something good. Yeah, so it's a good thing. I know, emphasise on music or something like the Beatles, they took rock and roll and made it more palatable to the masses by making it softer, not so hard, more melodical, and it caught on. And they brought songwriting in, and that made the other artists write their songs material. So they were an inspiration in that way. As, as my friend just said but, there, Dean, we got to stay ourselves and we yeah. can't be no one else. And if people want to copy you, take it as a privilege. Don't get upset. Be proud that people if want to the copy you. stayed lovable four tops, mop tops, what they were in the early to mid 60s, you wouldn't have had Sgt. Peppers and that because they wouldn't have created that. They, you've got to move and change which way ever you feel is right. Sometimes you make mistakes, sometimes you don't. But, you know, as long as you're real to yourself, it doesn't matter. You must take it as a compliment. When someone is copying you, be proud. They want to be you. They're talking like you. They're copying you. They're doing it your way. You are the master. Time is the master. Yeah, it's, uh, copying a film or program off telly. You've got the master tape or master disc. People want to copy. I'll copy it for me, copy it for me. Instead of doing it themselves. So we've got to basically 
be proud that someone's copying us. Yeah, but you've still got to stick to your own and, ethics and the and your own ideals. your own style shines yeah. on. Yeah. Be proud, thank you. People can't keep copying forever. Yes. So they go, just like so and so down the road does all that. So don't beat yourself up. If you're getting sad that people are copying you, then it's a good thing. They want to be like you. They might not even tell you they want to be like you. But if they're copying you, you're doing something really right. So as Uncle Dean said, keep your own style, let them copy you, and we love copycats. Yeah, I mean, yes, uh, we do. Sometimes in the summer, I walk through town, and I see a girl or something, a bloke, different coloured hair I've never seen before, colour, and I oh, like the colour of that, and I look it out and give it a go. I mean, I'm not trying to be like them, but I'm just inspired by the colour of hair they got, so I'll, I'll go and colour my hair similar. I like that, it. That way, you know, but I won't try to dress like that. So I go, oh, I look the colour of that hair. Sometimes I say, excuse me, mate, or oh, dear, where did you get your hair colour from? I really would like doing mine that colour. That's really good. So it's not so, like, so you're not copying, you're just being inspired. inspired. Yeah. So being inspired. a little bit from someone, because they took it from someone, haven't they? You've probably seen it on David Bowie or Johnny Rotten when so they were younger. Being inspired yeah. is a great thing. But, but that's like... Copyright control, isn't it? You're allowed to go so far without it infringing the. Yeah. You know what I mean? What's the yeah. word infringing? Infringement of copyright. Yeah. You're yeah. allowed to just get your own little bit out of it. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you're being copied, then that's a very good thing. Shine on.